How this simple act from you will make the narcissist completely obsessed with you. Everyone welcome. Your time in viewing this video is greatly appreciated. In today's video, we will examine one of the weaknesses of narcissists, which is their inability to quit thinking about you, regardless of whether the narcissist is a parent, friend, co-worker, family member, or romantic partner. Narcissists are emotionally cruel and manipulative because their ego is everything to them. Narcissists may resort to negative reinforcements as a form of punishment if they see that someone is attempting to overtake their superior status or is failing to provide them with sufficient acknowledgement. For the narcissist, boosting their own inflated sense of self sometimes means demeaning others. To elevate themselves, narcissists may resort to minimizing others, talking down to them, giving them backhanded compliments, or passing harsh judgment on others around them. First, I'd want to say that narcissists are the ones that typically leave other people with unresolved pain. Their victims are left in a state of anxiety and immobility, unable to stop thinking about the narcissist, the relationship, or what went wrong. Victims of narcissistic abuse may find it challenging and time-consuming to break free of the narcissist's mental hold on them. Know this, focusing on the narcissist or the past will get you nowhere. In the end, you'll find yourself back where you started. If you're always asking yourself, what could I have done differently? You're setting yourself up for self-doubt and self-blame. Then negative emotions such as despair and anxiety start to build up. If you give a narcissist permission to freely inhabit your mind and undermine you, they can control you even if they're not physically there. I get that transformation takes time, but you also need to do the work of identifying and removing the obstacles blocking your progress and replacing them with means that will propel you forward. The narcissist in today's video, however, is the one who can't stop thinking about you. Why is this happening? Now it's possible that dumping a narcissist before they dump you would have a long-lasting effect on the narcissist. Because you've deprived them of their one true happiness, they'll have a grudge against you forever. There was a golden opportunity for them to completely decimate you, and they let it slip through their fingers. You are someone who got away too soon, who left unfinished business in the narcissist's mind. The narcissist is then faced with a dilemma. Do they try to win you back, ruin you, or leave you for a while and come back to you when they are more prepared? The narcissist will continue to think about you, whether they are actively trying to win you back, attempting to harm you, or simply giving you space. You've become an obsession for the narcissist, and they won't be able to relax until they've had you back under their thumb. Narcissists have an unhealthy preoccupation with power, and if you get rid of them, you'll be taking it away from them. I've stated it before, but narcissist likes to feel like they're in power. They value the autonomy to decide how and when a relationship ends. The narcissist could care less about what you want or whether they injure you in the process. In fact, the more broken and hurt you are, the better for the narcissist. The plan is for the narcissist to end the relationship when they realize it's for their own good. They would have been idealistic if they hadn't stolen everything they could and left you when you were at your lowest. If things don't go as planned, the narcissist will not let you off the hook. Because of the gravity of the situation, it is essential that no contact be made. When you have completely severed all ties to the narcissist and blocked them wherever online, you have achieved zero contact. This will bring narcissists into devastation. It's the only way to avoid getting caught in the chaos that will ensue otherwise. If the narcissist initiates the breakup, it's because they've accepted that they can no longer manipulate you. As a result, the narcissist will react, and if you continue to associate with the same people or allow the narcissist continued access to you, 
everything they do will be designed to provoke an emotional response from you. This is true even if they put up a brave front and seem like everything is wonderful. The narcissist wants to make you feel something, anything, angry or sad. Narcissists want us to feel bad and indirectly try to hurt us with their activities by ensuring we see them or hear about what they are up to. Therefore, it is important to learn to be unbothered by or emotionally detached from them if no contact is not an option. Therefore, when taking the no analysis first posture, it is essential to either refrain from physical contact altogether or keep an emotional distance. When the narcissist is preoccupied with their own dilemma because of you, they will make you the focus of attention and force them to hold all future supplies to the same standard as you. If the narcissist thinks about you, it will cause irritation, wrath, or even urinating. It is also futile that providing the narcissist with an explanation for why you're breaking up with them won't make any difference. They will never accept responsibility, and no explanation will ever be adequate in their eyes. They want you back so they can discard you when the time comes because they believe authority belongs only to them. Dominance is at the heart of the problem. If you want to leave an impact on a narcissist, be the one to throw them away first. Because they can't stop thinking about you, the narcissist will spend time agonizing about what they should have done. The narcissist will always hold you up as the pinnacle of perfection. Unfortunately, the topic for today has come to an end. Sincerely, I hope this has been informative. I value your time and attention, so if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and activate the notification bell to be notified of more like this. Thank you for watching.